Hello everyone. Today I will present a better variation of the gravity turbine whereby I'm using a total of 32 weights as you can see on the wheel. All around the wheel I have a total of 32 weights. I'll show you an example of one weight. So this here is one of the weights. So I have a total of 32 of these around the circumference of the wheel. So the idea is to have one side of the wheel to have a longer lever arm compared to the other side of the wheel. So I will turn the wheel backwards or and clockwise and then once I turn it and clockwise the left side of the wheel will have extended lever arms and the right hand side of the wheel we have lever arms which are dropping or pointing towards the ground. So let me rotate it backwards or unclockwise and then we see if this wheel will be able to rotate and clockwise. Let's see. Then I turn it backwards, backwards turning backwards turning and then as you can see on the left hand side of the wheel as i'm trying to show with the camera all the lever arms are extended as you can see all the way down all the lever arms are extended but when you look at the right hand side all the lever arms should be pointing towards the ground as you can see i'll try to correct the ones which are not pointing towards the ground i have another batch here which is not pointing towards the ground i'll correct it some minor problem in fabrication here i'll correct it i'll correct it hopefully i can do it fast all right there you go now you can have now you can see all the lever arms on the left hand side of the wheel are extended 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 so we go to the other side and you see all the lever arms on the right hand side are pointing towards the ground because of the differences in the length of the lever arm of the wheel on both sides and if i release it should be able to rotate so there it goes now it goes down it rotates it rotates very fast actually thank you